Today we're going to review some Blackview dash cams and make sure to stick around until the end because we're going to be doing a giveaway of five dash cams. So let's jump right in. Uh, the cams that we reviewed were the Blackview DR590-2CH and the DR900S-2CH. And first off, slight critique, these, these product names are pretty confusing. Internally, they probably understand at Blackview what these mean, but to the general public, when you first view these names, they're really confusing. Really wish they would have gone with a different naming scheme. But uh, the 590 is the cheaper model of the two. Uh, we reviewed the 32 gigabyte model, and it is valued at about $240, but you can get the 16 gigabyte model for about $220. I've also seen these on Amazon for $200, which does put this dash cam at the top of the line when it comes to pricing, but we'll see if the quality actually matches that price. And the other camera we, we reviewed is the 900S, which is even more pricey. Uh, but we thought it would be fun to review it anyway. We reviewed the 64 gigabyte model, which comes in at $540. Each model comes with two separate cameras, a front-facing camera and an internal or rear-facing camera. And as rideshare drivers, we'll use the rear-facing camera as an internal camera. And both come with similar accessories. Uh, they both have a power cord and a cord that connects the front viewing camera to the rear view or internal camera. They also both come with mini SD cards. The 590 comes with an SD card adapter, and the 900 actually includes a mini SD card reader that you can plug into USB. The 590 is, a, is an actual SD card. The 900 also comes with a pry tool, which I found really helpful when hiding the, the power cable. We were also sent what Blackview calls the Power Magic EZ. This adapter allows you to power your dash cam by plugging it into the ODB port instead of the DC plug. This allows for parking mode monitoring. I actually prefer this too because the ODB port is actually in a hidden area of your vehicle where you won't see cords as opposed to the D you, you will see the DC plug. This adapter costs an additional $30, but it would be cool if Blackview actually sent this adapter standard with all cameras. All right, so as far as the specs on these cameras, uh, the 900S is a 4K camera so that the front facing camera records at 4K. The 590 is a 1080p full HD camera. The max frame rate on the 900S is 60 frames per second and 30 frames per second on the 590. The 900S is actually Wi-Fi wi -Fi compatible and cloud compatible. The 590 is not. Both cameras you can use for parking mode. The 900 has GPS built in. The 590 has an external option so if you can buy a separate GPS unit and plug that into the 590 camera. Again, because of the onboard Wi-Fi on the 900S, it is mobile app compatible, the 590 is not. The install is pretty straightforward, uh, both the front and internal view cameras for both models attach to the windshield via uh, an adhesive. You will then route the power cable um, around your windshield and, and door. The rear view camera, which again for rideshare drivers will be, will be your internal view camera. It plugs into the front view camera via a long power cord. So what I did was just wound the cord around the stem of my rear view mirror. Overall, pretty simple install with the only exception be the routing of that power cord. But overall, the install took me about 15 minutes. The way you view footage on the 590 is to remove the, S the mini SD card from the camera, plug it into the adapter, and then plug that into your computer. You can also do this on the 900S with that USB adapter and the micro SD card. Uh, when you open the card on your computer, it shows up as ex as an external memory device. Blackview also has some viewer software which you can download, but I really wasn't a fan of the software. It wasn't very user friendly and pretty confusing. Again, the 900S is also Wi-Fi and cloud compatible, so you can connect wirelessly via the Blackview mobile app to view your footage. And here's a look at some footage. Uh, this is from the f the front view camera on the 590. And here's a look at some footage from the forward-facing camera on the 900S. And here's a look at some internal camera footage. And both internal cameras are the same for both the 590 and the 900S. So as far as an overall review, um, both cameras worked great. The footage quality was great. Uh, the design pretty straightforward. Um, again, it is two cameras a instead of one with the you know a forward-facing and a rear-facing, which a lot of cameras are like. Uh, the two cameras, so you're gonna you're gonna be taking up more windshield space with both cameras. Ideally, it would have been one unit instead of two. Uh, grabbing footage again was pretty straightforward on both. You can grab footage via the mini SD card by using those adapters. The easiest way to view it on the 900 is with that mobile app and connecting to the camera via a direct Wi-Fi connection. Also, I wasn't able to get the cloud connection to work. There are a couple ways to pair, but neither worked for me, so I just kind of gave up on that. 
And as far as if they're worth the price, uh, you can get the 590 model again on the Blackview website, the 16 gigabyte model for $220. It's priced on the higher end. It's about $20 more than the Vantru N2 Pro, which is listed on Amazon for $200. I've seen some of these 590s's listed on Amazon for right around $200, but the Blackview website has them listed at $220. Again, this is on the higher end. It's two cameras as opposed to the Vantru, which is one camera. The Vantru is $200, this is $200. You can kind of take it as that. Um, personally, I prefer a single unit as opposed to the two. And as far as the 900s, uh, it's really highly priced for rideshare drivers at $540. It was fun to review that camera. Uh, the additional capability it provides, which is the Wi-Fi connection, the cloud capability, and 4K video, I don't think it's worth basically double the price, and I, I wouldn't re recommend that for rideshare drivers. It's just far too expensive. But if you are interested in these cameras, you can go to blackview.com to take a look and or purchase. All right, so as far as the giveaway, uh, we're giving away five of the 590 units um, and just a heads up, one of the cameras will be the one that I actually tested. It was very lightly used. I only tested it for a couple of days. Again, the value is over $1,000 for these five cameras. Blackview sent them to us free of charge. So thank you, Blackview, for sending these cameras. And in order to qualify for the giveaway, make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. Make sure to like this video and also leave a comment below and let us know what the craziest, what's the craziest thing a passenger's ever done in your car. Uh, thanks again for watching and drive safe. Thanks.